Welcome to Pierce Stadium here today, Monday, um, October the October 28th. The intermediate county final between Clare Galway and Clumber. It's the game is ready to start off at three o'clock. It's been a, a wet day, but the rain is holding off at the, just at the moment. My name is Joe O'Connell. I'll be speaking on behalf of the Clare Galway team, and we have uh, Jerry Kane from Clumber Club as well here. Thank you very much, Joe. Um, how can I not hear both of couple of people who have been here in the area? I can read no hate for the logos too here. Cahill and Common, Patio Kearney, Rooney and Common, Barry Lamb, and Underbucker, and Michael O'Connor, and Ian Limerick. Are those a couple of people who have been here in the area? Eamon, come on, 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 and your cousin's eye and try to kill and your commissioner of Gimmerty Kayla as they say on your career or a Kiako rules. A question will for an online to buy the floor and a guy who could do on work or physical like it's an always fun touch to more than the Gorsi Pella. That's a shame for starting a right out of it. On park, how do you happen to include park and fellowship? This is an argument or this by the final guy level. Well, Chilam, Gavalanche. Moin to the Friday, in order to demolish the Fark Ward in Leona, a Delta Roy, because Foxul and Gamach is an unrelish Leroy Degas, a Ganado Lob, Amor Satosa, Rother Wine and Tashasta Ganadi in Leona, a Gazot Gadog Mahain and Sunsu School, now Gwil Tosa Fad Escorail, a Gazano Genesis and Gifia, a Gorsi Pella. Okay, Amen, Fu Yalak, Captain Tokam and Log and Argia. Oh, it's a noise, a soul, a soul and Gamayak. Ne vai dar mai cum vinci shot, ne dai rog cu tot nu. Okay, okay. Gramin am aghat. Bantana vesa clica. No, uncommon Patio Kearney. Patio, the tour of me fui no. Well, I was Tashi to Vanshog, Tatan Law, Magalor, get Shilam to make with my head. I guess that Brandy and Park, my Tasha Fort, Kahin to Hog, Tosh for our short fat, showing Hedu Ragam Savacho, I guess Tosh for our shog. It's a show and I just tell the Shaglifim or Shilam. I get Motta Motamarin animus, perhaps a shooting animus to show. Okay, come on, Hagatati. Now I have Barry Lamb, Secretary of the Club. Barry, your thoughts on today? We're hoping for a good performance from the lads today. 94 was our last appearance in the final and we were hoping to make a repeat on that here today. Uh, I know the lads are very anxious and eager for today and uh, I know they will perform well. So, okay, hopefully. Thank, you very, thank you very much. Mike. Former player Michael Connery who gave great service to the club for years. Michael, as you can see, is based here in South Hill now. Uh, devout Clumbar man. Your thoughts, Michael? Uh, well, Jerry, today brings back um, great memories for me. And uh, my playing days testing, on the board. Testing um, one, two. Looking at both teams out there before the start of the kickoff, uh, they both look fairly young. Um, uh, I'd say it'll be a fairly tight Fortune, match. Hopefully, Clumber will do the trick. And uh, the high, uh, they'll be seen again. Thank there. you very much, Michael. It's okay. Uh, okay. Fan of the Construction in the county of Galway, or for that matter, in the country. John Joe, your thoughts. Ah, well, uh, number one, I'm delighted as Vice Chairman of Galway Football Board that our own club is playing here today and I certainly wish them well. And uh, this is our fourth time contest in the uh, um, uh, Intermediate final Championship game. Final. We have won all the three uh, up to date and I feel that we win, we'll win this one as well. But from, uh, from, a, no, from a, no, uh, a neutral uh, point of view as Vice Chairman of the Board, uh, 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 it's a great uh, occasion for Clare Galway as well. It's their first final and um, we are delighted as the Football Board to have them here and in particular to have this final here in, in, in Pierce Stadium. And I wish both teams the best of luck. And of course, uh, naturally uh, enough, I suppose uh, I would be a little bit biased uh, to say I would be uh, disappointed uh, if our own as didn't come out on top. But the best luck to both teams anyway today. Okay, thanks very much, John Joe. Okay. Come back from the Clamber men, they weren't too ready to let go of it. As Clamber come out in the field, just a few words here from uh, Claire Galway and Carmore club men, uh, Tom Lehman, President. Well, it's great to be here, I suppose, back after. A great number of years in Pierce Stadium. We used to have a lot of hard games here, when we, even with Clare Holland team. We played here, I suppose, way back in, in, in uh, way back in the, in the, in the early 60s. We were at Clare had a Holland team. Now we're back in the county final with, uh, with the footballers, and uh, you know we're in a fine stadium. No excuses. We're here 
to bring the cup back out to Clegawe. Thank you very much. Now we'll just have a few more words here from uh, Clare Galway representatives. We have the Mayor of Galway, Val Hanley. Val, how do you think the game is going to go today? Well, I suppose the conditions aren't great, but the pitch looks, looks to have no surface water. So I suppose what's good for the goose will be good for the gander out there. Clare Galway looks to have a, a, big, a big team and uh, they're used to finals now. Uh, they've been winning it on the rage and all through the ranks. So I don't think they'll be under any pressure on that front. But they're up against a very good combo team. They're cute. But uh, let's wait and see. Hopefully Clare Galway can pull it off. It'll be a great day for Clare Galway if they could go senior today. Thanks very much, Val. Name the Clare Galway team now as they're starting here today. They're all out. They're having, they've done their warm-up about 20 minutes ago. They're all lined out and the ref is getting ready to start the game. In goals, Barry Donovan. Cornerback, Porrick Welch. At captain at fullback is Pat Stevens. Kenny Watson in the other corner. Our halfback line, Frenny Ford, Mickey Grealish, and Tomas Moran. Midfielders, Barry Cullinan, Brian Brian Day. Half forward line, Adrian Moran, Declan O'Brien, Niall McGovern. And in the full forward line is Indo O'Connell, Jert and Anthony Wannan. It's the same team that lined out against the Kerfin game. Um, Subs, Richard Donovan, Mick Durick, Jerry Meehan, Boric O'Connell, Joe Garrett, John Paul O'Connell, Paul Concannon, Ronan O'Flynn, Gary Herney, Kevin McNamara, Stephen Cunniff, David Stevens, Brian Lachlan, Jack Reynolds. Jerry, if you just name the, the Clambar team there for yourself. The Clambar team, uh, there are two changes since our last game. Tom Riley still starts in goal, Martin Joe Kelly out. Is in a cornerback, Jared uh, Klein pullback, and Shane Holland is in a left pullback. Tom Felix, Michael Joyce, and Michal Casey. Eamon O'Keefe and Paul O'Keefe are both centre field. Pat Lamb, James Riley, and Aidan O'Malley, who's in in place of Tom Welch in the left half forward. Stephen Joyce, Tom Kelly, and Owen Joyce are the full forward line. Our subs are Paul Fanas, Trevor Lydon, Martin Joe Kelly, Tom Welch, Kevin Joyce, Michael Welch, Paul Klein, Paul Riley, Tony Keane, Liam Diskin. Gerald Welch, Dale O'Donnell, Walter Holland and Liam Kearney. I'll hand it back to you, Joe, now, as the National Anthem is going to start. Anthem. The referee, he's not on the pitch at the moment, but I'm sure he's there ready to start the game. Jerry, uh, midfield I think will be a big area today. The midfield and the half back line and the half hour line, this pitch is long, so the kickouts I don't think will be reaching midfield. Uh, I think the half back lines are going to have a major part on who's going to win this game. Whichever team happens to come out on top there, I think we'll have a big bearing on who's going to succeed at the end of the day. We'll put all the pressure now on the Clumber men as much as I can to try and a psyche out of it. Stephen Joyce, he's still kicking football. Stephen is still kicking and kicking as good as ever, I'm glad to say. Uh, he was carrying a bit of an injury there at the beginning of the year, but he's back to his best and hopefully today is the day that he will prove the, the uh, elite footballer that he is. Uh, we have a lot of young lads out there and it's a big day for them, so it is. It's a day that maybe they don't appreciate at the present moment. When they look back in years to time, in, come, they will uh, enjoy this experience. Uh, Clare Gawi, on the other hand, we know very little about them. We know they're a strong team and they're a very fit, fit team. And I'd expect a very good game. But hopefully, like some people are saying, experience can win games. But I wouldn't actually agree with that. I think the team that wants to win it most will win it, whether that is either Clare Gawi or Clumber. Well said now, Jerry. Uh, Mick Byrne, the referee for, uh, for today's game, he's getting ready to... He's checking with his officials that everything's ready to start. We just no, just the time. And the ball is in. Barry Cullinan jumps high. He gets the ball very easily in midfield. Puts in a low ball. Indo Connell's out. Cleared by the Clamberman. Out, out by the wing. He's. There go. We are starting strong. Uh, ball into James Riley there. The referee is pulling back the play. I think the free wasn't taken in the right position. And I think he's going to hop the ball now. He is, yeah. City free for Clumber to give away an over. A chance for Clumber to clear it, and they gave away a free. They gave it to a half ball. 
Barry Cullinan pulls, swipes in the air and it's back to Clamber for a free out again from the wing back, taken very quickly. James Riley to centre forward for Clamber. A late foot in there, fouls and Mickey Grealish puts it in to end his corner. Enda's beaten to it, taps it out on the ground there, Adrian Moore and Enda. Mihalo Casey is over there. Enda's going to take this first free for Clare Galway. He's just on the 21 yard line, right beside the sideline. Enda would be our main free taker and our main scorer. High and over the bar, and a great score, a great start for Clare Galway. After two minutes on the clock, the ball hasn't yet passed the, the gone into the, the halfbacks for Clare Galway yet. Clumber would want to be getting this and then going on an attack now, Jerry. Yeah, we're a bit slow to start. Uh, we've given away the ball there twice when we had it. Uh, we haven't settled. Clare Galway seems to have settled a bit better at this stage, but it's the early days yet. Takes us a while to get into it. Brian Day punches it in for Clare Galway again. It's going to reach the line before Anthony can get to it. Line ball for Clamber. Thomas, uh, Tommy Warren deemed to have been pushing in the back. Match analyst, another match analyst for the, for the day, Patrick O'Connell. Patrick, have you things to be saying? Great start there, Joe. Uh, great point by Indo O'Connell there. Uh, just want to keep the pressure on now and get a couple of early scores and give them a bit of confidence. Keep going. So, Barry Cullen there with the ball in the middle of the field. Playing very well at the first couple of minutes into Indy again. Indy's moving well today early on. Indy's got the ball. He's soloing through. He kicks a sharp one in. There's Anthony Monaghan. Anthony's gone to the ground, loses the ball, and away come Clamber. Back to Joseph. Ball bouncing around there. Niall McGovern has it, takes a shot. Didn't take enough time out of that. He puts it to the right and wide. Yeah, lucky for us, uh, that was a chance for Clare Galway, but it, it went wide, but it was a scoring chance. Uh, we still haven't settled. We haven't settled around the centre field. Our half-back line are a bit dithery at the moment. We are under pressure at the moment, but as I said, it's very early yet. We need to get a score on the, on the board to settle us. That's right, Jack. Clare Galway seem to have started a little bit better, but still they have a, a wide after it, and that's a bad kick out there by the Clumber goalie, Tomaso... Oh, oh. Tom Riley. Tom Riley, is it? Toshi Daskelga on the... Charity taking the line ball there for Clare Galway, puts the low ball in. Anthony, it slips around him. He thought he had it. He's still hassling for it there. Cherry Kine for Clumber gets it out. Ball goes badly. A bad pass there. Niall McGovern puts a high ball in. Is it going to? It's a push in the back on Inda. Inda gets, wins the free just outside the 21-yard line. A lot of a freeze going on at the moment. Yeah, I suppose the conditions are probably helping a small bit to that. The pitch is, uh, is slippy, even though it's in good condition. Um, the ball is wet, and there seems to be a small bit of a uh, little bit of pushing. But that's only natural with the conditions that's in it. I think the game will settle down after a few minutes. They're going to have settled into it, and they're after, they're after missing a bad chance there now. Uh, they should be at this stage probably two points up. So we're lucky. We, for more, haven't settled um, as of yet. And there will be. Mad on himself now after putting that one to the right and wide with a, an easy an easy free. He should be putting them over at this stage. But as I said, only four minutes gone yet in the first half. Both teams looking to settle, try and get a bit of shape going on the game. Clumber kick out, reaching the 40-yard line. Mickey Grealish, centre back for Clare Galway, gives a, a hand pass in, tries to follow it up with a bad pass. It's been put in for the first time into the corner there. Parik Welsh is running out to it. Watching it go out over the line, a wasted opportunity there for Clumber. It didn't, it wasn't a great pass in. No, not a great pass. This pitch is very wide and we haven't settled into it yet. Uh, we seem to be all over the place. Uh, probably a bit of nerves. We we're maybe getting, beginning to come to grips now at centre field. And hopefully, if we get a score, I think we, we, we'll settle down. Drops into Barry Donovan's arms. Out to Porrick Welsh, Porrick on to Franny Ford, the two Turlock Moor hurlers playing today in the green and gold for Clear Galway. Declan over exaggerating on the ball there, he, he gives the free away for over carrying. A small bit of rain is starting to fall again, um, it'll make conditions a little bit slippy out there, even more so. Hopefully, it won't come down too hard. The weather, there's no wind as such, 
I can't. I don't know if there's any wind. Do you see anything blowing? Uh, Clare Galway would have the advantage, whatever advantage is there, but it's not much. Uh, Owen Joyce uh, is, has been known to score some of those. This one drops sharp. As I said, this pitch is wide and it's long. And Late tackle there on Mickey Greeley as he was uh, try, running out with the ball, clearing it. Mick Burns, he's, I think he's going to show, is he, he's definitely taking a name. I don't know if there's going to be a yellow card. I don't think it was. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't a malicious tackle. Oh, and Carter Boy is a mark. Yeah, they need our our, our patent in this. Need need college. Need lots of roll on the like. You know, need happen lots of diddle. Carter Boy, but from right to left, what's that? Shigira. That Shigira. A smart to color and again clear for Gulu. Because they just shouldn't have got four pats on 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 Carter Boy. So see a quick kick. No, he is. Because even though Keith is hard, film the guys that play for you him. So he's play born the point. Conchish Dako D, Bert and Joe Kelly, and Captain is on here. Achanish Tom Bot, Potter Ash, Egg. So, that's that. College Stinter stuff on show here. Gasol, Kicks here, Egg, and all here. And we have with Stephen Hennig Togol on Kicks here, so. Yeah, it looks to me Stephen Orroy is going to be taking this free kick. Um, Clare Galway backs could have handled that a bit better. They gave away free, but it's from a difficult angle, a very difficult angle for Stephen. But he kicked them over before. He's been seen to do it. Steps up, kicks high. It looks to be good. No drops and two players punching. Barry Cullen was the corner man. Lam, I think, getting his fish there. That, that could have ended up in the back of the net, but it's gone over the bar. The goalkeeper's done well. It's gone over the bar. It's gone over the bar. Could have gone any place. I think Clumbar needed that score now. It should settle us. And uh, hopefully, uh, now we should settle in centre field and, and keep the ball in. I think if our full forward line get enough of the ball, uh, we could create a lot of problems for Clare Galway. But at the moment, uh, Clare Galway are, are on top in the centre field and we haven't settled there. So Barry takes the first kick out after a point there for Clumber. And Barry Cullen straight into the arms of Barry Cullen. On to Franny Ford, Franny kicking it in. Anthony Mann and it's all Turlock Moorman having it at the moment. Tries to give in a lovely quick ball, but it's blocked. Well blocked there, well defended on. Important interception there because um, their goal is full forward was left at the edge of the square, and if he got it, we were in depth of trouble. But we've we won the ball back again now. A bad play by Clare Galway, too quick, and went straight into Clumber hands. They're on the attack again, Clumber. Nearly ball put in. Tried to cut out there, Mickey Grealish, or Pat Stevens that time. It's a blocked off. Parker Keefe out to Tom Fierick. Tom Fierick down on the right hand side of the field, looking for Pat Lamb. This ball, this is a good chance for Clumbar now. So it is Stephen Jace on the ball. He should have a score here. And Stephen has a great score. The first time ball from Clumbar is working now. And uh, as I said earlier, if it's laying to our full forward line, I think they will do damage. And uh, that was a good score. There was maybe for a split second a goal opportunity, but Stephen on the wise thing and to put the ball over the bear. Very early yet now, I think it was a wise option, all right, put it over the bar, he's still got the the pace in there, they caught the Clare Galway backs uh, through a little bit of too much ball watching, I think, and they weren't watching them in, they made a quick break, and it's the second point for Clumber. Barry Donovan kicking out again. Jump, a high jump up there, James Riley. Owen should be able to find someone here now, he has, he found Pat Lamb. And from our movement, Parik O'Keefe has moved into a good position, but well take knocked off there. Again, Barry Cullen, Barry Cullen in on his full back line, out to Brian Day, his midfield partner. He's lead to spell, possess. tackle there by Packham, he's dispossessed. And caught for holding too, I think. His name is going to be ticked. Mickey Grealish, bad free, and Mickey Grealish picks it up, but loses it. It's over to Adrian Moran, who's down, trying to bring the ball up into the forward line for clear goal. We try to get a bit of life going up there. Bad kick, and it's gone for line ball out there. It's a clamber line ball. Yeah, there's a lot of stop starts in the game so far. Uh, both teams haven't really settled down. Uh, we haven't got any good flowing passage of football. But um, maybe now, we, with both teams after scoring, that we'll, we, we'll see some good football. So Declan O'Brien, he was playing for Karen Moore yesterday. Togged out for Clare Galway now. The ball just drops into India. He lets it bounce. He shouldn't have. He's flattened by the goalie. The backs are back there. They're picking it up. They're bringing it out. I don't know. I don't know. A dubious tackle there on India, but he. The Clare Galway still on the attack. The referee gives a free now in. 
I think there's, uh, they're going to stop playing now to bring on some medical attention for Inda. He was wide open there and he got, I don't know what exactly hit him, or was it just... The goalkeeper came out, the goal, Tom Riley advanced very well there, he, ha he had no choice. Both of them collided in the air, and uh, from a Clumbar perspective, we were lucky that the ball didn't end up in the back of the net. But uh, Tom Riley, who was, he started in goal, Tom's career seemed to be over this time last year. He had a lot of problems with his shoulder, he used to play in the forward line, but now he's moved back into goal, and I think we're very glad that he's moved back into goal, because as we've seen there, he was very fast to advance and probably stop a, ch a goal there that Kligawi nearly had. That's right. He came out very well there now, and he won the. He came off better after held off the attacker, and the defenders came around, picked it up, and brought it out. They're still having a look at Inda. I hope it's nothing too serious. We hope he'll be picking himself up and running around again. Yeah, it's just a collision. I think. Just a collision. It could be winded. Could be winded. Yeah, could be winded. Niall McGovern will be taking the free when it the play starts again. He's at the 40-yard line. Yeah, and end is up again. <laughs> Shaken but not stirred. Niall puts it out. Uh, going for, rather than the direct ball, goes to Anthony. Anthony loses it there, didn't get a chance. Eamon O'Keefe. Tom Feely. Tom Feely on the ball now. Puts it into the centre, not a very good ball. We've given away position again, back to Clare Galway. Brian Day has it, puts it in across to the other big man, Barry Cullinan, who lets it fall out of his hands. He's doing that a lot today. Hopefully, Brandy Ford is over there, Good ball. trying to block it down. It's a, they're on the attack again, Clumber. Good ball by Pat Lamb into James Riley, and James has picked up a good position. This should be a score for Clumber. James is well able to kick the ball over the bar. I think this one has gone to the right and wide. Unlucky there for Clumber, but James is able to kick the ball over the bar 40, 50 yards. Bit unlucky there. Yeah, so we're just waiting for the... Barry, the referee is speaking to the midfielders, but I don't think there's anything. Sorry, he's... He's writing in his book. I don't know if both midfielders have got their names ticked. Barry Cullinan and uh, one of the O'Queeves, is it? Yeah. Barry kicks it out for Clare Galway. It's punched around. It's gone back into... Pat Lamb. Clumbar and Pat has been called. Yeah, Clumbar now have adapted to breaking the ball in the centre field and it's beginning to suit us. Pat Lamb is picking up uh, the breaks there and uh, Pat is beginning to play, come into the game. Owen Joyce is taking this now. It's a good distance out. Uh, I don't think he'll, he'll have the full distance, but it should be dropping in around the square. It's Stevenson, isn't it? Yeah, Stevenson, yeah. It's out to Stephen. Tommy Kelly has gone through. This should be a score for Clumber. It's a very good score by Tom Kelly. Well worked by Clumber there. Tom, Tom Kelly, you know, he was the man who made a big difference in the Karen Cashel game. He did indeed, yeah. Tom, Tom, uh, we, Tom was known as a, as a back more than a forward. This year, Martin Joyce and John Egan they moved off into the forward line. And uh, he has made a big difference to the forward. He's, he's given us a bit of penetration. He's a strong man, and he's a good footballer. And as you've seen there, he's able to take a score, and that's uh, very important. So Clumber looks to have settled down, even though they were slower to, to, to settle at the start of the game. Uh, <laughs> Pat Lamb, as, as Jerry was saying, is, having a, is making a big difference there. He's making a lot of breaking uh, uh, runs through the Clare Galway defence, opening them up. Barry kicking it out again for Clare Galway. It's punched out there, it's running around. It's out to Adrian Moore. And Aaron, Adrian Moore on the attack now for Clare Galway. Gives the low, uh, ball into Anthony Mann. Anthony, one of our better top scorers this year. He's had a lot of unluck with the injury, but thankfully he's on to Brian Day. Brian gives a big high kick, and it's wide, to the right and wide. But I, I think there are, all the officials are saying it is wide, so we'll go with that. It looked to be a great kick, and I think he wasn't far off it. No, that was very near. I'd say a couple of more inches and it was inside the post. Very unlucky. Good effort. But uh, I'd say that just a bit wide. So Tom Riley again kicking out for Clumber. It passes them by. It's going out. It's out to Aidan O'Malley. Back to Eamon O'Keefe. Eamon O'Keefe looking for James Riley. Finds him. James should cross the begin to Pat Lamb. Pat, Pat involved in a lot of the play. Ball across to Tommy Kelly. Breaks out and Claire Galway pick it up again. Niall McGovern there, he got the little, little ball. He was w way down in his own back line. No, it's turned around now. Tom Kelly out to O'Keeve. O'Keeve into James Riley. James Riley now, the centre forward for Clumber, also having a good game. Puts the ball back out to O'Keeve. O'Keeve turns, Stephen Joyce. 
Stephen turns him back again to O'Keefe. It's judged to maybe have thrown the ball or an illegal hand pass anyway. Very unlucky there now. Um, from forward, they were beginning to open up there. Um, Stephen was penalised for throwing the ball. Um, I'd have my doubts, but uh, the referee is the man that calls the decision. That's it. He's the man out there. He's making all the calls. Stephen very quick with the with thinking, great mind, and experience really is going to show for him. Conbar on the attack again. Kenny Watson jumps high, gets it. Tom Moore now, Thomas Warren on the attack out. Back again to Brian Day. Brian in the middle of the field. Brian trying to create another run for Clare Galway, who don't have an awful lot in in the forward line, but Inda is there. Inda lets the jump once. Is he going to, it's gone out of his hand, though. He turns, picks it up, lovely pick up. He's been well def cut both sides, and a poor kick from Inda goes to the right and wide. He was under pressure, to be fair to him. Um, there was two Clumber men uh, surrounding him there. They made it difficult for him to kick, and he kicked the ball wide. But uh, Clumber, the ball goes into our, our full forward, into a full back line. Um, Inda seems to be picking it up there, and we'd want to shut down that, uh, shut down that avenue. Tom Riley kicking it out. No, free again for Clumber. And I think he's uh, caught the buoy for Brian Day. I think now it was maybe a bit of pulling and pushing going on. I think so, yeah. In, in, in the conditions, you're going to have a bit of pulling and dragging. And uh, he has produced a yellow card there. I think maybe maybe for persistent fouling. There was nothing malicious in the foul, just maybe persistent. As you say, he's just trying to get, make a, a stamp on the game. He's trying to get to, not let it get out of control. I don't think it will by any means, but on the attack again, Clumber kicking to Stephen jo or, uh, Owen Joyce, kicks it, just drops into Barry's hands, the uh, goalie for Clare Galway, out to Franny Ford. Franny on the way, Porrick Welsh, Porrick kicking it again. Jerry and lets it run inside him. Inda's trying to hold it in there, put the pressure on, put pressure on the backs for Clumber. Make it all the more difficult to take it out. John Simon and running across, but it's cleared. Stephen Joyce has it. Stephen, can he get a quick ball into Pat Lamb having it? He's going to have a shot. It should be over high and over the bar. No, it drops low. Barry Donovan collects it out to Pat Stevens. Jumps by his men out to Tom Orn. Tom, a quick ball onto Brian Day. Brian has men in front of him. Jerry in there. A cousin of his drops it, drops out of his hand. He's going to try and contest for it, but it's gone back in again. Clumber on the attack now again. Clumber on the attack with the ball with Owen Joyce into James Riley. I think Owen has been, should have been gallery free there. He was tackled off the ball. But the, old, the referee says play on, and the goal goes into the clear goal, goalkeeper who hands it well. His handling is good. And we're dropping the ball short, which is a pity. Do you think it's just the, the, the bigger pitch they're just not used to at the moment? I, I think the, the bigger pitch is probably playing its part in this. Uh, we, we have dropped the last three or four balls into the goalkeeper. And, and they were all, all scoreable chances. All but scoreable chances. We missed two or three now that we should have got. Anthony's been held there, but eventually wins a free. Quickly taken by Barry Donovan, or Barry Cullinan, who... Yes, the ball. seems to be trying to find uh, your corner forward with a fast ball. And it has worked up to now, but I think uh, Clumbar Shea now has come into the game and he, he's cutting it out. It's beginning, the game has opened up. It's a good, the game is going to liven up now and there's good play passages from both teams. Pat Lamb to Tom Kelly. Tom, and again, drops it in. I don't think, I don't think the length of the pitch affected that particular oh, kick. Oh, no, that was a bad effort by, by, by Tommy. He didn't get in behind it at all. That should have been a score. But the, the game has really livened up now. It's from end to end and it's a good game of football now. That's right, the, 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 the both teams have really warmed up into it and they're getting it. Anthony Monaghan now taking the line ball for Clare Galway into Inda again. Inda tries to get by his man, he looks up, he's going to take a, oh no, just a quick shot into Adrian Moore and Adrian is, he's, there's no way through for him. Puts it out against Anthony, Anthony good from both feet, tries to turn, get an angle for himself, shoots and puts it to the left and wide. Hard look there for Anthony, it could it should could have been a score there but they were being well stopped by the Clumber defenders. They're playing very well back there. The yeah, our defenders, are, 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 they're in tight. They're not giving the player too much room to shoot. And uh, by doing that, they're, com they're, they're, uh, they're going under pressure when they're kicking and the ball is going wide. The crowd are livening up too now, which is good. Get a bit of atmosphere going here in the game. Declan O'Brien picks it up for Clare Galway, the centre forwards. He turns, he gets rid of his man, and a high ball in over them both. 
The goalie is coming out. Will Linda get to it? No. The goalie, Tom Riley, is there. He gets it. Clears his line. Yeah, as I was saying earlier with, with Tom Riley, uh, apart from me, the goalkeeper is nearly also next to back because uh, he's able to read the position very well. And we've seen him there where he ran 20 yards out and, and collected that ball and got put Clumbar on the attack. That's right. He was playing more like a defender there. He came way off his line. Brian Day stopped the man in the middle of the field, one of the O'Keefe brothers. O'Keefe was the penalised again there for throwing the ball. Um, again, very, I'd be very dubious on that decision. You know, um, I thought I thought he definitely uh, Pollock, uh, hand passed the ball out. Maybe the fist, maybe the maybe the time of the hand wasn't closed or something. But well, the referee he seems to be keeping up with play at the moment, so we, we won't. He's having, no, a, he's, having a he's game. having a good game, all right. Yeah. But the play, the, the the game is really livened up now, and both teams have settled. But, uh, Kenny Watson to Parik Wells. Parik on the trying to bring the ball into attack. Not a great kick, but Anthony has. Just not getting the ball there in time, and it's going to be a clamber line ball. Along the line, I see Roddy, Banishthor, Ballyclor, uh, I see Paul Cannon is sending out. Brendan O'Hagan, Joe Riley is there, Jer Jerry Higgins. Back on with play, it's Tom Fierick. Fierick puts it out, it's... Hi, it looks good, and it's a great score by Clumber. Yeah, Aidan O'Malley, Aidan came on as a sub in our last game against uh, Karna Cashel, and he had a, made a great effect. He scored two great scores, and he really came into the game. Uh, that'll settle him now. He has scored a point, and he's well capable of producing the likes of that. That's right, so Clumber has stretched the lead now, four points to one. We've uh, 20, over 20 minutes gone, 22 minutes gone. 20, over 20 minutes on the clock gone, the first half here in this intermediate county final. Clare Galway's first time in the county final and hopefully hoping to, to reach new heights. Clamber, they've won it three times before, I think. We won it, yes. We came up 77, we won it in 89 and 94. Um, at the moment, uh, Michal Casey's on the ball and he's trying to find Tommy Kelly. And Tommy should get this ball, takes it back to Tom Felix. The other day, Tomasa Felix in it. Tomas Machinchok with Jeep, Pollock Owen. Project Paul, I'll ask for Tommaso Kelly. For Tommaso Kelly, stock is Stefan Shaw, you're right. For Project Stefan, I guess. For free, free and I, Stefan and Chen. Well, the referee has given a free to Kenny Watson. I, I think he was lucky there, but both players, all, both teams eager to get possession and keep the play going. He's been told to, get, to take it again, take it from the wrong position. Up the ball, they're saying. He hopped the ball. There was no legal play in my view. Ball is played on there to Anthony Mann, and Anthony tries to hold on to it. He's got three or four defenders around him. And it's a... Uh, I, I think it was uh, maybe a push in the back by Anthony Mann, and he might have shouldered him in the back as he was trying to get through there. And, uh, but it's actually Niall McGovern that's getting booked. Um, did you see? Yeah, the, the game is played. Uh, both teams are all out to win it. There's no dirty stroke. It's a great game of football. It's a good hair game of football. The conditions will contribute to a lot of frees, and uh, that's what's happening. Franny puts in one hand to, to stop that from getting into the... J Park uh, Cueve on the attack for Clumber. Is it going to be... No, it's a, to the right and wide. I think he just mis miskicked that at the very end. A nice run, a nice burst inside there again from a free kick along with the line yeah, here. Pauly, Pauly, picks up great positions. Unfortunately, he kicked that one wide, but he's, he's a great attacking centre fielder. He picks up great positions in around the goal, and he's well noted for getting an odd goal, and hopefully maybe before the day is out, we'll see him netting one. That's right. Well, we'll be hoping not to see one. <laughs> but that's our, that's our opinion. We need, a few, we need a few more scores. Yes, Clumber, I think, came in here as, as slightly favourites, but I, I don't think there was much in it after their win over Carna Cashel in their semi-final. Clare Galway overcoming Currafin in theirs. I think they were both underdogs in both semi-finals and here they are in the county final. It's been brought out of the fence here by Clamber. Only as far as Barry Cullen, he didn't have to jump very high for that. He was a county minor this year. Puts it in to Ind O'Connell. Inde now has a, should have a great chance. Puts it across and it's punched and well, it, well intercepted by the Clamber men and it's been brought out of the fence again by Parco Cueve. 
Yeah, our full back line have, have come into the game now, so they have. Uh, the clear goal for fall looked, looked dangerous when they're on the ball. But uh, I'm glad to see our, our full back line have tightened and uh, we're stuffing out those chances now. I see where the ball was being travelling along there, there was a splash of water, so there is a slight bit of water being held from a, a lot of rain that we've had over the last week. Franny Ford, he's going to change the, change the side of play across to Niall McGovern, who just bounces it out, but he gets control of it again, puts in a low kick, and it's gone. It's going to be cleared out of defence again. Jared Klein, it's out to Pat Lamb here. Pat Lamb, he has, he has Eamon O'Keefe with him. Now Eamon should be able to travel with this ball, this space with him. And he likes going on those solar runs. Yes, Eamon O'Keefe, he's making the burst. It's been intercepted in there by the Clare Galway backs. Niall McGovern takes it out of his defence. Pat Stevens, cap captain of the Clare Galway team, onto Declan O'Brien. Declan puts it in there. Anthony's behind his man, lets it go. Bounce out. It's kicked out again, again for an attack. James Riley, I think, put it into Tom Kelly. Tom puts a ball into the corner where there was no corner forward to be seen, and it's gone out for just in the in, nearly in the corner flag for a line ball. Some more full forward line just lost their shape at the present moment, and that's why there was no one there. There's substitute John Paul O'Connell is coming on for Clare Galway. He's they're looking to get the attention of the ref to bring him on. He's normally in defence, he'd normally be coming on. I don't know what the plan is for today. Torecho has got the... He's given them the nod to make his way onto the field. Tom Orn is a man to lose out there. Wing back for Clare Galway. Had a, just, I think they're under a lot of pressure. And I think the manager Minch just had to make a small change. It was four points to one, three points ahead to Clumber. It's bouncing out there, no one making a burst for it except for Fierig. Fierig for Clumber gets it in there and he has it again. He's under pressure though from Declan O'Brien and Mickey Grealish. Ball still continues in. Eamon O'Queeve and Barry Cullen trying to get the better of each other. Barry holding him off. Two big men there in midfield. Onto Nine McGovern puts a great ball into the very corner up this side very quickly from one corner to the other. A split splash and Eamon Indo O'Connell comes out with it. Is he going to try and find a man? Puts it across and it's a goal for Clare Galway. Off the post though. I, I stand corrected. It should have been a goal there. But I think the defenders and the goalie did very well to keep the pressure on the Clare Galway forward. Very lucky there now. Shane slipped on and in the kept goal. He crossed the ball. We were very lucky. The, the, the Woodwork saves us at that stage. The ball is with Stephen Joyce now who's beginning to play a deeper role. Yes, it's from, from, from an almost goal to, to down the other side. A bit of a... A clash of foot and head there, I think, accidental. It's put in again, and the play is continuing. Brian Day has it. He's trying to get by him in. He's, a, he's, he's a still on the attack, takes the kick, and puts it across the face goal, and goes to the left and wide. Unlucky there for Brian Day. Uh, oh, by the, oh, right. Lucky there now. Um, two, two good chances at Clare Galway. The, uh, the Woodwork yeah, saved us there. Two minutes ago, and, and we were just saved there again. Uh, has come in for Thomas Boren. Uh, just to remind patrons why there's a break. I, I count four men down at the moment, getting uh, two of them getting receiving treatment. I think the other two are only doing their laces and gloves. The toilets are at the back of the stand. There are stewards at the tunnel, so they're a direct I think there's a clear going man still being looked at in there by by his uh, management team. He's receiving water to get some energy back into himself again. Brian Day unlucky there now. He, it was a hard, he had, didn't have much of an angle to work on and he kicked it across the face of the goal, but two almost goal chances there for Clare Galway. A bit of a change, but they still, the scoreboard hasn't changed. Still three points in it, Clamber leading. Kick out, out towards Park O'Keefe. That's a Pat Lamb. Pat Lamb's having a very good game. He's picking up a lot of loose ball and he's keeping us, keeping us well in the game. Yes, Pat Lamb having a great game and they try to make, Clare Galway tried to make the change. Stephen. Stephen. This could be a chance now here. Well tackled, well tackled by Clare Galway, he loses the ball. Mickey Grealish tackled him well, cleared out of the fence then by John Paul. O'Connell, John Paul onto Adrian Moore and Adrian gets it again from Brian Day. 1-2 going on in the middle of the field, Declan O'Brien is calling for it, gets the ball. He has men in front of options in front of him, he loses it, bounces it, I think they should be. He kicks it high, it drops into Adrian Moore and Adrian has been pulled there but he gets a kick 
and it's gone to the right and wide, another wide for Clear Galway. I make that about seven wides for Clear Galway. What do you think? Maybe eight? Yeah, Clear Galway, Clear Galway have missed a few chances there now. Uh, they may have ruled them before the game is over. They, they deserve to be, I suppose, another pint or two closer to Clumber. They had, as I said, the woodwork saved us. And uh, at the present moment, it's still anyone's game. All it's in is the kick of a ball. That's right. Not much in it now. The ball is kicked out again by Tom Riley. Adrian Moran wins the free out by the line there. Going to be taken by Declan O'Brien. A high ball across the field. Anthony Monaghan onto Niall McGovern. Niall trying to get around, trying to find some way to work the ball. A great kick and it's with his right foot kicks it high and over the bar bounce off the bounce off the the crossbar but it's over for a point for Clare Galway's second point I'd make it about 25 minutes in since Clare Galway scored the first point it is I suppose uh, to be fair to Clare Galway like they, they, that score they deserve that score they, you know they're on the attack for the last few minutes there now and yeah, they could be ahead at this stage so they're going, if they got the goal they could be going ahead Clumber want to get into the game again now we've sat back into the field and we're losing it and again uh, Claire Gower on the attack. Our centre field wants to start getting up there and start winning the ball. Yeah, they have gone just a little bit quiet, but uh, it's only been for a few minutes. And uh, you can really see when the club midfielder, whoever's winning, it seems to be winning the, the, the control to play. That seems to be happening, yeah. Whoever's winning centre field. Uh, we had 10 good minutes there now, and we've gone to sleep a small bit now. But we're on the attack again here. And if we get another score before half time, it'll be very important to us. He's having a great game there, number five, Fierick. He's having a great game. Tom Fierick is having a great championship. He had a man of the match against Carol Strand. He was very good against Karen Cashel as well. Uh, Tom is in the, the, the wrong side of 40s, which he'd never think of. No, you wouldn't think to look at the way he's running around there. It's going to be another free in there for Stephen Joyce. is going to take it for Clumber. Another name in the book. Boric Welsh this time. Claire Galway, cornerback, is getting his name in the book. I'd make that about four Clear Galway yellow cards and maybe two for Karna if if they have that. Stephen Joyce? It's not a dirty game, it's just that uh, the referee is uh, pulling for maybe the personal fouls and that's why the cards are. But there's, no, there's been no bad, bad tackle or anything. Stephen kicks this and I think it's gone to the right and wide, yeah. It's gone to the right and wide. We could have done with that score going in at half time. I think the referee is blown for half time. Okay. He's blown for half time there. We'll just get a few words here from uh, Claire Galway men, and maybe Jerry, you can find a, a, another. Is it? Oh, you have another man. So, a Glenham on score at all now. On Arca, Kira Cooley, by a Clara Galleva, Cork Cooley. And to remind patrons that. So, as the Claire Galway and Clumber team makes their way into the dugouts, I think the management from both sides will have to try and lift their teams for the second half. It's been a lively game, into in football, and uh, we, we, Clare Galway, not the happier team at the moment. Definitely not, Joe. I agree totally. Uh, two points in play, not good enough, you know. It's a good job they got the last one there, because to go in at half time, just one point scored in a half an hour football, not, not good enough. They have to lift their heads now and fight for it for the next half an hour and get stuck in like, you know. Unlucky there. I thought that, was, that ball, I'd like to see it again. I thought it would hit the, the bear in under the goal rather than the crossbar now. I don't know what you thought about that, Joe, but we, we might get that on the replay. Patrick, I see you're, you're, you seem to be showing, hiding your right hand side from the camera. Yeah, Was Eugene Clunan and yourself having a bit of a, a talk in yesterday? We were having a few words, all right, a bit of a banter. Uh, yeah, I did get a bit of a clip in, all right. Some say I was looking for it, but I, whether I was or not, I got it anyway. <laughs> Good man, Paddy. Well, Paddy, we'll, we'll get you for a few more words, but we'll just go over here now to Jerry. Jerry Kane. Well, I suppose Clumbar will be the happier of the two in the, in the first half there. Uh, they're going to be looking for a goal. We had a lot of position, we, and we went four points to one up. We may, at that stage, should have two or three other points. We'll kick the ball into the goalkeeper. Hopefully we won't re regret that. So going for the last ten minutes, the last ten minutes of the first half, I came into it. Uh, they were unlucky, very unlucky for the goal. They could have scored a goal, and uh, they could have scored even two goals. But uh, it's all to play for. It's, it's, there's, uh, there's nothing between those two teams, and you never know. We could be back here in a week's time. They're both very two fit teams, Jerry. They're both moving the ball from both sides. Um, they're playing it there's nobody looking to, to stop play they want to keep going with it yeah that's very true both teams are you know both teams are a credit to their managers so they are they're playing football the ball has been let go like the conditions aren't great uh, I know the pitch is good but it's it's, it's fair and uh, it, the, the, it's going to be very easy to run on it but having said that both teams are playing good football uh, it's all to play for it, 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 like as I said we're probably the happier of the, of the both teams at the start if, if, if we win it at the end of the game with two points or one point we'll be happy with that 
Well, we'll, we'll hope to have a, maybe a bit of better fortune maybe on the goals or on the points in the second half, and we might uh, try and bridge the gap. เอ็กซ์เรนนี่อากาศนั้นอะไรเอ็กซ์เรนกลัวให้พบอะไรกับเกิดสักเทียมโลกีฟจักรมือกันยังไงมันรู้สิเอ็มันคดีหาปัญห
He's going to kick with the left foot. It's not, try, it's not good enough. Inda tries to punch it in there. They're trying to hold on to possession. Tries to put it out for a 45, but the goalie, a great a, a defensive interchanging. They're bringing it out now. Church. Go along. Neil Casey puts it up. John Paul O'Connell got the better of Cook O'Keefe in the ball there. Passes it between himself and Barry Cullen. And John Paul still has it, kicks it in over their heads to Inda. Inda lets it drop the first time. He falls. He's fouled. He wins the free. He's just beyond the 21 yard line. I'd say he's about 25, 23, three, 23 yards out. Or is it meters? I'd say it's meters they're measured in here. Yard line, the old 21 yard line. Um, it's it's a difficult enough kick, but he can score, he could score. So, in the he's going to take this for their goal, his first chance of a, of a score here in the second half. A nice kick is going to drop though, drops into Park O'Keefe. Park from wing forward, he comes back to clear it for. Clumber, they're still trying to get the ball out. Barry Cullen punched it and it went over the line. So it's a line ball for Clumber. The ball didn't quite go in like, in the, like, like he meant to kick it. I don't think it dropped in a little low and it was easily cleared by Clumber. Out to midfield again, John Paul is there. John Paul O'Connell playing well since he came on to Mickey Grealish, centre back for Clare Galway. Kicks it. It's not, not a great kick. Shane is trying to come out with his challenge. But he's lost the ball to Clare Galway and Clumber Ball. The ball was out there, I thought. What do you think, I, I thought the ball had gone out, but the, the linesman was right beside it and he didn't raise, raise the flag. But it's been taken into the attack again for Clumber. Park Welsh holds the ball well, gives a punch on, an early punch on to the ball to Niall McGovern. Niall soloing, putting it up. And no one there to contest with the ball, except for the Clumber man, of course, who got it, cleared it. Aiden should try to drive this ball up along the wing. He's lost it. He's got up to Tom Kelly. Tom goes to ground, and Claire Gowey picked the ball up. He's cleared by their fullback. Declan O'Brien on the attack there after Pascal Stevens cleared it. In the misjudges it, it's going out. It's going to be a. No, he's got the better pace. He shoulders him out of the way. It's dropped between Anthony and Inda. Inda apologises with Barry Cullen and out. Niall McGovern kicks it high and over the bar from his right foot. A great score there by Niall McGovern. I'd say we've just got four minutes gone in the second half. And Clare Galway have got their first score of the second. Yeah, that ball should have been cleared by, Sh by Shane. He slipped going out to it and Inda picked it up and set up um, the Clare Galway man. And he scored a good, good point for Clare Galway there. But it should have been cleared by, by Clumber. Tom Riley's going to take his first kick out here. Kicks it out to the, his right-hand side. Declan O'Brien contests it and wins it. He's on the attack now. Pushes one man out of the way. Kicks it high with the right foot. It's gone to the, just to the left and wide. And unlucky there for Declan O'Brien. But a great chance there from a kick out. He caught it, fielded it well. and I, I, He shoved one player out of the way, but he got through and got a, a shot and goal fairly easy. Yeah, that was a good, he was unlucky at that kick. He kicked that ball from about 60 metres out and it just went to the left and wide. It's gone bouncing around there. Fierick, Tom Fierick is in there. It's, it's kicked in. Endo Connell's first out of the ball, but the ball, the ref is blowing up there. I think it was for just a bit of a collision in that last tackle when the ball was bouncing around there. We've uh, two clear goal with players down, I think. And we've. There could be a clash of heads there. Uh. Yeah, Tom Fierick is down anyway for Clumber. I think uh, looking around it could be Brian Day for Clare Galway is is one of the men. There's a lot of commotion around them. Again we're hoping that it's just a matter of, of seconds and they'll be back on their feet again playing. A, a, a good sports sportsman today now they're it was accidental whatever happened over there. Well, I think it was just a clash of heads. The ball broke and uh, two Clare Galway fellas and, and Tom Felix went foul. And I think the, the three of them collided. And uh, thankfully, they're all on their feet and hopefully they'll be able to resume the game. I think they will, yeah. Yes, I think they're all back on their feet anyway. Um, Brian Day is one who's, he looks a little dazed out there. He's still getting 
10 to 2. I think that's John Butler, our physiotherapist, making his way off the field. Not much he could do for them, whatever sort of injuries they picked up. Barry Cullen, I think, was the other man down for Clare Galway, but it's going to be play will resume in a, with a throw in, off ball here. And uh, just around the 30, 30 meter line, or 30 meters out from the Clumber goal. Yes, Mick is ready to start play again. Barry's deemed to have pushed his man out of the way before the ball got into play, so. He's given he's he's given them ten yards twi twenty yards maybe. Yeah, he, he, he took <laughs> a long ten yards he took there. Tom Fury he's back on his feet kicking the ball there. Oh. <laughs> on the on the ground the ref says. Declan O'Brien is going to take the free. There's no ten yards in that case. I think now ref now you have to start going both ways. <laughs> 24 takes a quick kick. Niall McGovern out again to 24. He's open. Oh no, it's John Paul O'Connell. John Paul gets a lovely ball out to the side to Inda and Adrian Botham looking for it. Inda gets it. Inda kicks. Blocked. Well blocked there by the Camber men. The ball is still loose though. Nobody's, nobody has it. Parik Welsh up. Jumps high. Barry Cullen gets it though. With the, there were feet in where hands should have been. 24 is going to gather this along the sideline here for Clare Galway. Clare Galway trying to put plenty of pressure on the Clan Barman at this stage. Niall McGovern, he scored two points for Clare Galway. He loses the ball in this case. Parik O'Keefe, he seems to be playing very deep from his... <laughs> Adrian Moran punching it out to Tom Fierick. Tom Fierick for Clan Bar. Tries to get by Declan O'Brien. Gets the ball by him though. Anthony Monaghan back there trying to keep the ball in, the, in defence. Yeah, Clamborne have come deep. They, they had to come back and f uh, defend in numbers there. And we have got, now got a free. Clare Galway have uh, exerting the pressure there in the last few minutes, but uh, they haven't, lucky for those, they've got no score. Uh, the ball's with Stephen Joyce now, and uh, Stephen should be able to find someone here. The very seldom Stephen gives the ball away. And it's with Jared Fine now. The pull ball in out to Aidan This could be a chance. Goalkeeper is at Banton and it's done well, but it's out to Eamon O'Keefe. And the goalkeeper has it again. It's stopped. This could be a chance for Clumber. It's cleared by Clare Galway. Cleared by Clare Galway, and they come away with it. That was John Paul O'Connell and Barry Cullen, that, or Barry Donovan, that got cleared that ball. Barry punched the ball well. Did very well, but Clumber uh, stopped the attack, the Clare Galway attack, and they starting one of their own. Good ball into Stephen Joyce, but. Jared Tehan pulled forward for Clare Galway, back in the full back line, intercepted the ball there. That slam is loose inside if he's picked up, but he won't be picked up in me all case he's going with the ball. It's getting a small bit ragged. He's, it, it, so the, the ball's been held up a small bit, maybe too much. And we come over again and giving it away, you know. Clare Galway, Galway have defended well. We've 10 minutes gone here in the second half. There's still the two points in it. Uh, Clumber, five points to Clare Galway's three. As you said, Clay has got a little bit ragged. It's not as free-flowing as it was in the first half, but it's still in-to-in -in football. But the ball there badly kicked in there by, I think, was Brian Day. Franny and Parik Welsh finally gathering it in his full back line. He does a hand pass out, 30-yard hand pass that goes astray. Sent across there now to Pat Lamb. Pat Lamb is, Pat Lamb is given the free. I think he could have been a, a bit of... Let play go there might have been a good or better idea, but... The penalties might have been better for, as a Clumber point of view, but there was a free, and the referee has called, called up the play. Uh, Owen Joyce is going to hit this, it's on the 50. It's, uh, it's a good distance of a kick, but uh, Owen is known to put them over. It's a big old score if he gets it. He takes, he takes a, a... Stephen, he leaves it off to Stephen, who kicks a great kick, but to the right and wide. I see Brian Day... Still might never recovered fully from that knock that he got earlier. Uh, our team doctor and his father, Dr. Brendan Day, is, is, is just tending to him along the sideline. Just uh, Owen Joyce has come out to play. He's, he's playing left half forward uh, at the present moment. So he is. I think James Riley has gone into corner forward. Uh, there are a few, lo there are lots of changes made around. 
the field at the moment. I think the positions, uh, Joe, in this game uh, don't really mean much, do they? No, definitely not. No, I, I don't see too many players in, in their starting positions. Gary Herney, I think, is going to come on for Brian Day. I, I don't know if it's a if it's a blood sub. I don't see any blood, but no, no, okay. it's a it's a full substitution. On the Clare Galway team, number 24, Gary Hurney, has come on for the injured Brian Day. Brian getting a good clap there from the the crowd. He's had a great year for Clare Galway. And unlucky there to, end, to have his, his final end so early in it. But Gary Herney, a, a good replacement. He's another Turlock Moore man that we have playing first. Brian recovered from that injury over there, uh, there a couple of minutes ago when they were clashed with um, Tom Feely. I don't think he's recovered from that. He's playing well. Playing well. And Gary Herney, his replacement, kicks the ball out. Switch and play over to Adrian Moore. And Adrian, he's good with it both feet but in this case he kicks an early ball in Anthony fouled his man before he got the the ball came into them and it's a free out for Clumber again so hopefully things will settle down here for both both teams and we can uh, see Pat Lamb now trying to get the ball out of defense it's moving up the line Tom uh, Thomas Kelly for Clumber Interchanging with Stephen Joyce, shrugs off the tackle, puts the ball in. Stephen Joyce is still running, but just a, a mistimed hand pass there, and it's there go, we get possession back. It's out there with John Paul O'Connell, I think. Half blocked down there, but Adrian Moran should get to it. He gets to it. He's tackled. I don't, I don't know. Tackled, and he took a knock to the head there. So it'll be a free for Clare now. Yeah, uh, what's you call, uh, I think there's even O'Keefe there that gave the ball away. Stephen, Stephen had made a break inside, but the pass was behind him. Clumbar are moving well at different times, but uh, Clare Galway is deemed to look dangerous. Uh, it's still hard to call this game. Paddy, what's your view on what, uh, how the second half is going? Two points in it. Both teams, are, neither of them have stamped their authority. They really haven't stamped the joy. You put, it hit the nail on the head there, no? with the glass hammer but uh, Clare Galway really want to start putting the ball over the bar uh, they need to score like three points like they're still willing there's only two points in it like and still what's left 20 minutes in the second half a couple of body blows there I'd say a few lads got injured there the collision hopefully now they can pick it up and uh, if they can get another score too just things like that now John Paul running out over the line with it there it's not going their way but they still have time left so hopefully they can pick it up and uh, get another score or two and get right back into it no, no, no. Believe that, no, if you like it. <laughs> okay, the man has moved into full forward now for Clumbar and Tommy Kelly has moved out. I was in that too before the game, Jerry. That's one thing that uh, I, I, I was back at the Carney Cash game. That's one thing that helped you that day with Tom Kelly coming out. He won a lot of ball in midfield, set up a lot of chances. James, James. He's a great forward, Jerry. He's a great man for going in on broken balls. Um, I think he could have a big influence on this game now at centre half forward or probably maybe out of the third midfielder. Uh, th there's a lot of cackling going on in the crowd here. <laughs> I'm not too sure what the reason for it was. Pinchner. They were objecting on the ratio. He's calling men in. I think it's Kenny Watson. Tender frost food. He wasn't so tender there with the last uh, tackle, I don't think. <laughs> No, the ratio is going to give him another yellow card. I don't know if he's many left, Patrick. I'd say it's about six cards given out. If he gives him another yellow card, that means he's one got already. So if he get two, he's got. No, I mean he's given out another yellow card, not oh, two, Kenny. Oh, all right, so fair enough there, Joe. I just misunderstood you there. No problem. We better have clarified for the audience. Yeah, I, I, I didn't see what happened there now. Uh, maybe there was a tackle off the ball on Stephen. I don't know. I didn't see what happened. So there was nothing malicious in it anyway. No, I don't think so. John Paul gathers it up there for Clare Galway, kicks it across the other side of the field. Adrian Moran is going to try and win it here for Clare Galway. The slight punch on the ball and they get win play and they continue very quickly. Adrian out to Anthony. Anthony Monaghan, left foot, high and over the bar and it's a great score for Anthony Monaghan. A great score for Clare Galway. Five points to three now, five points to four. Colleen Awan, Inter Nipponia. Yeah, I'd say Shinnan scored a fellow in your definition. Scored a fellow here by the corner, Galeva. 
on a yes on a fraud. Five to four, it could be a time on the clock, or it could be a bet in the bookies odds, but it's five to four here at Clare Galway, Clambor and Pierce Stadium. Free up to Clambor here on the sideline. Taking a sharp one there, it's O'Keeve. Well, the minister's son is the ball, is out. Maybe it's gone out to the sideline. It is, it's gone out. Line ball to Clare Galway. They're back in it, Joe. Five to four. Five to four the field. Franny four, uh, John Paul O'Connell, I think it was. Takes that ball, puts it on to Mickey Grealish, way out of his centre back position. Puts it back to Jer Tehan, who's trying to make his way to his full forward position. Mickey, back with Anthony. A foot block, a, a body block, but it continues, play continues. Tom Kelly is out there for Clamber. He's going deep now to try and win the ball back. Porrick O'Queeve drops the ball, miss jumped. Porrick and Barry Cullen waltzing through them. Kicks uh, Gary Owen high. Tom, Tom Fierick wins the ball ahead of Gary Ernie, kicking it down here. Franny Ford now. Fr Franny play, wins. Play on, play on, they say. Fr Gary kicking a high ball in there. Adrian. Adrian wins it. Adrian Moore for Clare Galway puts it out to Indo O'Connell. In can he find a man or find an angle? He goes down. He's not getting a free. He puts the ball across wisely. Very wisely now. Gary Ernie has it. Front of goal. Kicks. Not enough. Weedy mix in it. Drops down. No free to make sure it's there, he's going to get a free out, no play on, O'Brien is in there, Gary Hurley's in there, they're all in there, it's on the ground. What are we going, what's the ref call in there? I don't know, it's going to be a hot ball, a free in, free in, clear go over there, this could level it all up, it could be all square here in Pierce Stadium with a bit of luck. Jerry, it was, it was a free, yeah? Yeah, well it seems to be a free and I thought maybe Bertrand Joe was unlucky not to get a free out at the, at the start. But I think uh, the Tom Fiala came across and pulled on the ball on the ground and uh, I think made contact and the referee, as a matter of fact, he's going to give him a yellow card and a free in to Clare uh, Galway. I think this will probably be the equaliser. It could indeed, it should. It could and it should. We've t almost 20 minutes gone, I think. 18. Yeah, and when the last 10 minutes, uh, they're beginning to take control. So they are, uh, some are getting very difficult to get the ball out. Um, and well, well we, yeah, as you know, we're on, none of us are neutrals here at this game. We're, uh, we're, we're smiling a little bit more at the Clare Galway contingent. Inde kicks it, not high, but over the bar. And that's the levelling point now, 20 minutes gone in the second half. They're all square at five points apiece. Indo O'Connell is just, uh, just to level it there for Clare Galway. And now the game is really lifting up. Crowd are warmed up, the players are warmed up. And Ron O'Flynn is warming up on the line. By God, there's a great bit of heckling going on here in the crowd. A great crowd here in Pierce Stadium today. A long ball, a quick ball out there from the camp board. They're moving it in towards the goal. Stephen no showing. I saw that man score points in Crow Park in the early 80s. It's got out there, 18 Morton. The man from Nick Hugh moves it into Lyle McGovern. Lyle is out to Gary Hurney. Has he got it? He has. He held it. He's moving down along the sideline. Gary Hurney moving in. Kicks it right across the field. There's two, there's three of them there. Barry has it. Six foot six, Barry. In the class again to Mickey the camp. Mickey Grealish, the man with the bandage in the knee, out it. Anthony, Anthony Monaghan, he's got there, there's two of them after him, two Clambor lads. Oh, it's a little bad hand pass there, a hospital pass in, Clambor have it back and they'll take it out of the fence again and move it up along and I'll move it up to Joe. Oh, yeah, up along the line here, the microphone is going as well. Clambor broke down the, the attack there by Clare Galway, just a bad hand pass and they're clearing it out of the fence. Yeah, this is going to test the character of Clambor now because at the moment Clare Galway they're fires in their belly and they're running at Clumbar so there. It, this is going to take a big test from Clumbar now, a test of character to see how they come back. But Claire Galway are firing everything at them at the moment. <coughs> Inde put a big kick in there now. It, it went out for wide. Anthony was trying to stop it but didn't. Yeah, the, the momentum seems to be with Claire Galway at the moment. They're, they, they seem to be putting on an awful lot of pressure on the on the curve in or clumber beg of pardon clumber for, uh, the backs the ball is kicked out again by tom riley we had a tom riley he was a great plowman in clear galway one time tom fierick he's having a great game there wing back for clumber he is yeah he's definitely up, up, up along the up along the sideline um we have lost shape so we have now they probably the ball, gave down the ball now we need a score so they do but it, it, it look, doesn't look to be coming. Clare Galway are breaking down the field again. A great, 
a great uh, athletic jump and interception there by Pat Stevens has set up this latest attack. Declan O'Brien, he's fouled. I think the referee is going to give him a, a free. Or is he? And the Argy Bergy going on within O'Connell. Do you give it to them, lads? <laughs> Things are heating up here, but no, no dirty play at all. Just, I think they know what's at stake. They know there's only 10 minutes left. And level scores, it's anybody's game. They're going away with a small bit of uh, momentum going, but I think... They yeah, as a Clumbar man, I'm a bit bored right now. Um, the last 10 minutes here, we're getting it very difficult, and Clare Galway are running at us, and they're beginning to come through us. And seemingly they have that bit of extra fitness that we at the moment on, on us. Um, Clare Galway probably takes the advantage here now, and if they go point ahead, we have it all to do. Yes, so I think it's going to be... Niall McGovern is going to take this from, I'd say, from the hand, but he could surprise me yet. Richard Donovan, the great stalwart for Clare Galway. He's running around there with bottles of water galore. My own mouth is running dry here. Patrick, how's yours? Joe, not too bad at all. Uh, I see Rowan Nufflin there. He's swinging the arms up and down along the sideline there. I say if he swung them a bit harder, he could take off because he, he's gone out there anyway now and hopefully he'll have an impact in the game. Niall McGovern taking it from the ground. And a lovely score. First time ahead. Second time ahead for Clare Galway. But now this time is more, more important with about seven minutes. Eight minutes, we say, on the clock. Well, Joe, you're talking about your mouth, mouth being dry, but I'm sure if you win this, it won't be dry in a couple of hours' time. No, you're right there, Jerry. No. Some more have to, they have to get a grip. They have to get a grip in centre field and start working this ball. We're not getting the position now. We're putting on a sub now. Tom Welch is coming on. Uh, Tom, in a recent match against Clifton, turned the game around for us when we were nine points down with a couple of minutes to go. And we come back and got a draw. Now he's going in for Owen Joyce. It, it wasn't the best of days for Owen, but Owen is a young lad and he left lots of good days out in front of him. So the play continues with Clare Galway, just that single point ahead that they got just for a minute ago. Gary Herney trying to win the ball back for Clare Galway. Keep the pressure on the Clumber backs. Barry Cullinan is in there trying to hold it. Declan O'Brien. Firing his belly anyway. So Clumber trying to take it out of the Vince now, trying to see can they get this one point that separates the team. It's into Pat Lamb. Pat Lamb was playing very, very well for Clumber. Out to Tom Kelly, this stalwart, taking the ball up there. But John Paul O'Connell is there. The Pope has it. The Pope puts it in. It's Niall McGovern. Niall, he's going to kick it high. Oh, as we're all shouting here, oh, in unison. It should have been a goal there for, for Gary Harney, but he did his best. The goalie had his whole body in front of the ball, so I think they got away, I got away with it. That's definitely a let off for Clumber. If that went in, it was all over. It was curtains. But we're still there. We're still there. We, need, we have to get a score now. So we had the ball with Stephen Joyce. So then there's two, three or four Clumber lads looking for it. I hope it's not got out over the line. No, it's kept in play by James. Well, it, was, it looked like a very wide pitch if he managed to keep that in play. But the attack breaks down for Clumber again. Clumber just... G670, please go to it immediately, as it's causing a serious obstruction. The owner of car number 98G670 is causing a serious obstruction. And will the owner go to it, please, immediately? Thank you. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I don't think either Clare Galway, Clare Galway, or Clamberman are going to listen to that fogger. I know myself. It's going to be very serious in this <laughs> obstruction. This call Ball put into the Clamber attack. It's punched on, fisted on. Eamon O'Queen gets a kick on it. Barry Walsh shepherds it out to the left and wide, and a, a let off for Clare Galway there. I thought he could have taken a little bit more out of it before his kick, but Claire Galway still in it. Only the one, only the one. Patrick wants to be heard. <laughs> are, we, are you ready now to speak? <laughs> uh, Joe, it's in the Milton pot now, by now the middle have to stand up and hopefully Claire Galway can clinch this one. What's left to do about five or six minutes? Barry. We, we have five on Jerry's watch here. Five and it's, it's the, the butterflies are very bad at the moment. It's it's very hard to know who's going to win it. They go have the advantage. They have the ball now and they've got a free. Well, there isn't a, there isn't a nail not being bit off here today. People on the edge of their seats. Barry Cullen now in the middle of the Clare Galway attack. He's going to take too much out of it, is he? The referee foul or calls the foul on it. Barry. Barry might have opened his mouth there, he's done it 
He's, he's awful fond of doing that. The ball gets carried forward 10 or 15 metres and 20 yards. Pat Lamb into Tom Murphy. Tom Murphy, now he's going through. He should be able to score this. He's on his right foot. He should be able to... Oh, there's an awful back kick by Tom. That could have been a chance. That was a scoring chance. Still not gone wide. Eamon O'Keefe has... Or Park O'Keefe has it now. Turn the back with Claire Galway clearing it again. Yeah, it was uh, his first uh, real kick on the ball there and it was gone, gone to the way to the right. It didn't go wide, but way to the right. Ronan Flynn trying to hold on to the ball there, slow things down, trying to let Claire Galway get a little bit of grip on the clumber attack that they're putting on now. They're putting a lot of pressure on them. In the Mary on the ball. Aiden has gone through, been taken away from him and it's gone out for a 45. Ronan Flynn there, great interception. I think we're down to about the last four minutes in this county intermediate football final. Who is it to be? Who's the goal senior? There's only a point in them. I don't think... I don't think I'm going to make that call. We'll be looking for someone to run for him. I don't, there's no one running yet. Paul Keefe is showing to him. He has come to it. This should be over the bar now. Come on, Eamon. Eamon has it. He's surrounded by three or four. He, 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 Claire Galway, Claire Galway gets the ball away. And Ronald Flynn, and along with a lot of more lads, have brought the ball out of the Cumber attack from their own defence. And the referee has spotted something. I saw nothing, it was underneath us here. Jerry, you were a Cumber man, you might have seen what happened. Yeah, Shane fouled uh, into there, and there's a, free, there's a free in for Claire Galway. This is it's nearly as good as the score now. It, it, it'll take a minute before the time is kicked, and the time is ticking down. Time is ticking away. I'd be very happy with a draw if we get a draw at this stage. The momentum is with Clear Galway. Paddy, how do you see when play resumes? Well, as Jerry said it there, uh, the momentum was with Clear Galway, but they'll have to carry it through now. They need one or two more scores, they could clinch it. Indo O'Connor there now. He was being fouled right, but I, he might have just slipped out the elbow there a little bit and give him a little bit of a slap in the kisser, but sure. Yeah, that you'll expect that in the of football. Quick one down there by Indo O'Connor. Out comes Aidan Morton. He's the knee bandage. Well, it's gone down to the ankle now. And it's gone out over the line, and that's a push in the back, a free in. Are you going to have a score here? It could clinch it. Indo Connell, you know, he's a, will he put it over? Will he throw, throw it across the square and maybe hope for a goal or something? Yeah, Niamh McGovern was, was calling for it, yeah, looking for it there, a quick ball. Indo decides to tie the shoelaces. I think he's going to... Well, I think Indo's going to take his time. He's going to take his time, and he... Well, in, 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 our, in our particular field now, we'll, we'll agree with him. Take your time now, Indo. Do the other one while you're at it. He's putting down the gloves now. <laughs> so, into here now, I think we're about down to the last maybe two minutes. Throws the flag out of his way, must have been bothering him. Stands back, I th he's sizing up like he's going to go for it himself, Patrick. I think he will, show. you know, he's the stuff to do it, like, you know, he'll either blow it 10 yards wide or he might go over the black spot. I told you, over the black spot of which oh, that's it, I think I think we might have this one, hopefully, a couple of minutes to go. I'm just going to get this soothed with my mouth here, I'm drying up here, small bit here, Pierce Stadium. That's a great score, that's a worthy of a, of a, of a win in an intermediate, that's a great kick by Enda. Yeah, a great score there now, he was only, I'd say, no more than 10 metres from the line. I'm going to have to get a goal to win this game. A goal is the only thing that will win it, and if it does... A great catch by Anthony Mann, and Anthony has been in front of him. He goes for it himself to the right, over the bar, over the bar. A great score by Anthony Mann. The dying minutes here, Clear Galway, have come alive. Fuzzy, Fuzzy is getting ready to come on. Oh, they're holding back nothing today. They're trying to write his name. Paul Cagannon, they call him. He's played many, I think he was here when Pierce Stadium was first built, Patrick. Joe Fuzzy, as they call him, uh, Muncher us, us, uh, Kalashta with a, a high tackle there around the neck. But Fuzzy, you know, he's the heart and soul. That's Kenny Watson. It is. Is it Kenny? That's the second yellow card. That's the red card for Kenny Watson. Unfortunate there. It was a high tackle, but he, I don't think it was anything. To, to you know, he was probably trying to just to kill the play down. He just caught uh, Tommy high, and so, as I said, it was on fire. But Colborne need a goal to save themselves. It's nothing else now. And I think that's gone wide. Well, I'd be delighted to see that ball go to right and wide. Kenny Watson, un unfortunate, very unfortunate to get sent off there for a second yellow card. Four minutes additional time 
at the end of this. Well, do you have it here the like four minutes they're going to play? Where did he get that out of show? Where did he get four minutes out of Maybe, maybe, maybe we're a bit biased because we're by the three points up, but we want to hold on to this one, Joe. Bring the saucer back across the, the, the bridge. Joe Garrett is getting ready to run on to Burr Clare Galway. I don't know, is it like Aussie rules? Can we replace Kenny Watson now, or is, there, is he gone? Well, there's four minutes left for Clumbar to redeem themselves. It's going to show, if they have character, they have to come back and do it now. But uh, definitely, Clare Galway are well on top, and very much on top in this half. We've only scored one point, which is a very poor reflection. Yeah, Clamber just didn't didn't get good. They started off very well, but they just have died since. I think it was O'Keefe, was it a hand pass over the bar? That's all, yeah. And that was at the start of the second half, like, you know. Um, there is still character on this team. There's no doubt about it. They could score a goal, but we have to get the position of the ball to do that. But we're always going to defend solidly now. And they're going to have, as a matter of fact, I can only see two in their forward line now, so they've everyone back defending. Which would you expect? Stephen now is going to take it. He has to go for a goal. The time is ticking away. He has to engineer a goal. So go we have a stone wall across that goal at the moment now. Oh, he kicks it over the bear. Is it down to two points? Well, I, I don't think it would have been as easy to get a goal. He, he was probably as well off. Yes, yes, it probably would, but. Um, they're going, they're going to kill the ball now, they're going to take their time kicking, up, kicking the ball out and time is ticking away. Like we're definitely left, all that's left now is two minutes. Well, it puts the pressure back on Clare Galway, they know if they can see the goal they're gone. And Gal Clumbar have to get a goal. That's it, there's no longer just the goal separate them, it's down to two points. Eight points to Clare Galway, seven points, six points to Clumbar. We're into the second minute of injury time. Joe Garrett came on there. For Clare Galway, Adrian Moran replaced Eamon O'Keefe and for the Clamber attacking. Oh, it's gone across to the Tom Fierick. Tom Fierick inside to Stephen. Now this, this could be. He's going for a pint again. He is. Oh, and he misses it. The bad miss by Stephen. Bad miss by Stephen. Well, if he had, if it was to go over, there would only be a point in it. I think. I think they're, they're still, it's still well capable for Clamber to come back and win it. But the momentum there was with Clare Galway hasn't quite gone out of them, but they need to stamp it and get, win this possession and get an attack going up there. For a, a, a wide or a point or anything at all, Patrick, or we won't see a cup. A wide anything, George. Just get the ball. Keep it away from that goal to hell. Get it out there. It's got out there. Rolling, Rolling up in, Rolling up in. Back to the Pope. The Pope is known to his county colleagues. Across the ball. Not a great one by the Pope. Here comes Clampard again, Joe. They're moving in in terms of goal. Back to James Riley. Oh, no, a kick by James as well. Out to Stephen. But it's, we have to engineer a goal. He has to try to keep the ball in play. Back to James Riley. But there's a lot of Clare Galway players around there. It's going to be very difficult to break that go goal down. Into Jared Kynar, full back. Jared is going. He's going to lob it in. Oh, it just steps over the goalkeeper, taps it over the bar. There's only a point in it. A great. I think Barry Donovan did right. He shepherded it over the bar. It was a dangerous ball to try and catch or do anything with, with players all around there. So there's only the one Colleen in between the Fernia now. I see four men, five men, including the goalie, up to the, the, the clamber half of the field. Everybody seems to be muddled around the clear goalie half. It's going to be hard for clear goalie to get possession and bring it out. Barry the Condon kicks a lovely high kick out. It's gone a long way. Joe Garris fouled. Slow it up, Joe. Slow it up. No, <laughs> he's too close. The Clamber man is too close. Dexter there for Clare Galway. Declan O'Brien now is going to take this free. The race is looking at his watch. I think he might. He was very close to it. It's very close, Joe. That, uh, time, is, time is nearly up. Clamber have it again. Clare Galway should have kept that ball alive. Just keep it along the touchline anywhere. But Clamber coming out with it again. And it's all over. Clare Galway won this immediate county final. There we go. They won the intermediate county final, Patrick, by one point, eight points to seven. Historic day, Joe. Historic day. Great day for Clare Galway. Great crowd out here today in Pierce Stadium. 
hard luck to Clambora and Jerry and the whole team and all that, but someone has to win it and someone has to lose it, and it's great for Clare Galway. I've seen your football. Uh, Jerry was close there in the finish. It was very close, but on behalf of Clambora, I want to be the first person to congratulate you. Definitely in your second half performance, you deserve it. And let you enjoy the night, lads, and enjoy your senior football. Hopefully, we have young lads there, we have a couple of old lads there, but we'll be back, so we will. But fair play to you. On the, on the, on the day, Clambora can have no crimes. You were the best team on the day. And enjoy yourselves, lads. And uh, I wish you well. Thanks very much, Jerry. That's very gracious words there. So the Clare Galway celebrations out in the middle of the Pier Stadium. I don't know, are they allowed to bring crowds on the stadium here, Patrick? Have you heard the rules and regulations? Well, I'm not too sure of uh, paragraph 4, line 7 on the book, but I don't think there's a whole lot going to stop them going out there today. For the presentation of the trophy. Well... Pat Stevens, uh, the captain for Gary Galway, it'd be a proud day for him now. Is he going to lift the intermediate cup? So you put your We are going to I'll get the hard to leave. Oh, I love my cousin, so I've run out of the while the clown is going to and show. I heard those. Oh, I don't believe the horse lay on Rachel. No, I forgive you, Gobblish. I guess I forget. Cost the pen the Gallia. I guess the Port and Pierce Prison. Minister, Mayor of Galway, officers. Look, Clare Galway, Clare Galway supporters and your players, will you please make your way for the presentation? We can read it. I'm going to hand you over now to the. Uh, officers of Ballyclare na Galiva, Agus Kumani Parik. It's my great pleasure to present this to Ballyclare na Galiva captain. Naturally enough, I suppose I honestly say I would be a little disappointed that our old lads didn't win. But this is their first time in a final, and they have to be congratulated on a fine spirited performance today. Indeed, today was. Despite the conditions out there, it was a great exhibition of fine sport and football, and we certainly don't begrudge uh, Ballyclar and Galliver the, their first title. I would like also to compliment all the parents of all the young, uh, young players who are out there today in both teams, and all their young brothers and sisters who come along with them. And it's vitally, it's vitally important that at all times we look after our sporting heroes, because never before did young people need as much guidance as they do today and I'm speaking about the unfortunate amount of underage drinking and I would hope that all the young players who are looking on here today that they would take this in moderation so without any further ado I would present this to this young man well done Anyway, um, 
I also want to thank the lads, the, two, the three biggest clubmen at the moment. Roddy Greenish down there. <laughs> this one's for you, Gaffer. I um, also want to thank <laughs> Brendan O'Hagan and Jerry Higgins. And Jerry Higgins, just in case you didn't hear. Um, finally, um, uh, the supporters, of course, the crowd that's here is great to see, and hopefully we'll have you next year when we're competing where we belong, up at Senior. Okay? <laughs> um, I want to thank also the, the people who, the design of this pitch, the people who came along, did the refounding for it and made the pitch the possible the way it is today. It's a, it's a benefit to the people who came to Galway, and it's something to be proud of for the whole of Galway. So congrats to the people who organised that and built this pitch the way it is and re revamped it. Have there's any other sponsors? But that, that's not the mic. They're not the mic. Huh? Money. 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 Yeah, OK. Finally, I want to thank... Every, every team needs that people behind it for financial backing, OK? And with us, we had a lot of sponsors over the years. People like Mullins Motors, who sponsored the jerseys. Tinder Frost Foods. What else? Hanley's. Huh? And all the rest of the team who sponsored and contributed to us over the year in the not so fruitful times. So finally, just to finish off with three chairs for the Clumber team. Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Come here, Margaret. Leave it to the team now. So the hey, hey, in the leave the cup. The team is just coming down now. Stephen Kniff, John Paul O'Connell, Ronan, Ronan Flynn, Anthony Monaghan. Jack Reynolds, Joe. how are you getting there? <laughs> All right, Ger, Ger Tehan, Tehan Warren. All right, yourself, boy. Tommy. Woo! I'm Warren. Uh, All right, Tommy. How's it going, Joe? It's all right now. We <laughs> got it. Tommy has it. Give it back, Tommy. Yes! David Stevens, Lyle McGovern, Laughed in the Cup, one-handed. Jerry Madden, Brian O'Rachlan, Joe Garrett. <laughs> Fancy gloves, Joe. Fancy gloves. Barry O'Donovan and Barry O'Donovan. Boric. Boric girls. Kenny Watson. And Kenny. And five. Oh, Fuzzy has it. Fuzzy lifts the cup. And the lovely hat. Eight fifty, I think, or is it a ten tenner in the local shops? If you want to get there, get your hands on them now. <laughs> Brian Day. How the stock by Wednesday is expecting. Brian Day to Barry Cullen. <laughs> Kevin McNamara. Here, here One more. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, go on. Paddy. Declan O'Brien. Declan O'Brien lifts the cup. And we're on to the final. Last but not least, Mickey Grealish. <laughs> Mickey, you must have something to say there, Mickey. Go on. Go on. You Mickey, Grealish, come Mickey, come over. Couple of vocal. Couple of vocal on me, all. I'm bad knee. I can't talk. Bring it out, Mickey. Two, two. Ah, bring it to Mickey. The Karen, the Karen Moore men are bringing it down the steps. Right, Claire Galway. Well, they're bowl too, aren't they, Patrick? <laughs> bowl, is that the word, Joe? Great crowd here. Great scenes. Unbelievable. Great day for Bayer Clare. We thank you. Yes, all the time, yes, game. Patrick, what do you think? Will we will we dust off the the, the old uh, boots? See, can we get a senior game next year? By Jesus, Joe, that's for sure. By this is fucking what? This, as Inda Ferdy said, this one derby that's just no dog. Senior game for the next year. Did you and we look forward to seeing you on here again next Sunday? Just for the county. He's trying to drown us out here. Well, it's a great celebrations going on here. I think. Claire Galway have swarmed, have swarmed the field. Um, Ray, can we talk? I've got a few words from you there. Ray, yeah, Ray, come in, come in, you scud. 
So there's going to be a great the celebration is going to start. I'm sure there'll be a tour of the parish with the cup. Oh, tour of the parish, Joe. Bonfires, the whole crackers, fireworks, the lot, you'll name it, porter, whiskey, the whole lot. The place will be up in the hay for a few days, Joe, but it's, it's great. So it's unbelievable. Clare Galway winning their first uh, intermediate title and going senior. And it's great for the parish, really. Great, great day. Uh, 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 great overall, that's all. Postman, uh, uh, you taught me in Mundagisha for a few yeah. years, and uh, did you ever see the day you think Clare Galway come up senior football? It's a great, it's, it's a wonderful day for you, so it is. And to win the intermediate title for the first time, you'll have great enjoyment in your parish tonight. I don't know how many ex players from Mundagisha are on it, but they don't play as much football there now as they used in our time, so they don't. But there would have been a few, I'd say. There would be a few. I'd say uh, Mickey Grealish was there. Since the half back. Since the half back, yes. Uh, John Paul O'Connell there, come on as a sub. That's uh, be your own brother, isn't That's it? That's my own brother, yeah. Um, Anyhow, the one thing I thought about your team today, and you deserve to win, by the way, was that you had great verve, a great cutting, and great heart at the end. You were the better team in the fight in 15 minutes, and you played the long ball, and there's nothing to beat it. I think you're right there, Jack. The long ball, it came through, you know, they had only scored out two points at half time, but they really upped the ante there in the last 20 minutes and took over Clumber. But you had, a, you had a few hard luck stories for half so you had. The time you hit the bar, that really should have been a goal. Uh, I, I think it was your right corner forward, with a fine game, by the way, who struck the ball against the crossbar. That was one of the best moves of the match. But Clumber put up a great show, too. The great old Warriors and Stephen Joyce's the age of 45, playing a right corner forward. Old soldiers never die, do they? <laughs> well, that's what you say, the evergreen, like 40, 45 years of age. Unbelievable, I know something anyway. When I'm 45, I, I, won't, be, I won't be putting on a pair of togs or boots. It might be swimming togs. Well, but, uh, I hope you have a great night tonight and uh, that you enjoy your success and go from strength to strength. I see just behind me, Tomas Squealy, she was a great old footballer in the old days of money in the Gisha. I thought he might have been on today, but he must have gone past it, has he? <laughs> no, he, he was playing uh, yesterday for the hurling. He doesn't play much football now at all. He Who's just that? concentrating on the hurling now. Well, is he under the Mickey, is he? No, no. Uh, he might be a cousin. cousin. Cousin, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, it's yeah. bad enough, I don't know that. Between the Collins and the Grealishes, uh, <laughs> you're keeping the flag flying out there anyway. That's, we'll that, that's all we can try to do anyway, Jack, is keep right. the flag flying. Okay. Thanks. Good luck and congrats to both teams on a very sporting display. Thanks very much. That was uh, Ish, uh, as Seamus Cunhanan. Come on, Agus Joseph. Thomas Moore and Joe and you. Agus, the boo and the egg, the shan the crew. Agus, Cahe Mero, Grunyu, that chicken you can go. Agus, Tom, when you follow the show, let bleed. You know, and tell your mother for all the mission of that oak. Thanks very much. I'm very proud of Clare Galway today. Uh, I think it was a hard road. Uh, there was a lot of people involved all along. Uh, the football started in Waterdale. Uh, football wasn't appreciating Clare Galway first. Uh, we had a lot of players down through the years, uh, including Jimmy Duggan and Clare Galway and uh, Rusty Greenish and Carmore and different Hanleys and Heinzes and Kinneys and Welches and a lot of the Clare Galways. So we, we got a lot of help and we had to achieve something to finish. But my own son Paul has put a lot of work into it. I'd like to thank uh, Brody Greenish and uh, Jerry Higgins and the rest of the committee and hope from now on that we can stay up senior for a few years. Kavaga. Seamus. Well, now with uh, a couple of the Clare Galway lads, Declan O'Brien and Paul Concanon. Uh, sorry, sorry about that. Though, buddy. Declan, how are you now? <laughs> now, left hamstring is a bit tight now, uh, Joe, but uh, great feeling. Like, I mean, I'm out, the game is over 20 minutes and I haven't sat down and just uh, taken it all in. I mean, it's a great day. It's a great day for the parish of Clare Galway and Carmore and it stretches. It's massive. Like, you know, I just didn't win something after so long and uh, such a hard struggle over the years for every life. But uh, this win is for the parish. It is, it's great. It's fantastic, Joe. Paul, you got your run? <laughs> no, actually, I wanted to get, get, get something uh, straight there. There was so much pandemonium going on, going on at the end. Uh, I had, there was a piece of paper wrote out for me, Joe. Paul O'Concannon for Anthony Manon. Anthony, you were coming off. And uh, all of a sudden, then, I, I blame uh, poor old uh, Kenny Watson he, for him getting the sending off. Next thing, my piece of paper was scrapped. 
and they had to bring on uh, Joe Garrett as a defender, so I can understand that, but uh, it doesn't matter the results that counts, and uh, it's a fantastic day, as I said, for everybody involved. Um, you know, for everyone, as I said, I'm, I'm especially uh, happy for the boys here, especially Declan, who has put in a lot of toil this year with the county team, Porrick and Franny, and, and over the years, and uh, geez, it's, great, it's great that it, it's at least at the end of the day they get something, and it was a, a phenomenal effort there towards the end, and, it, and just Hart drove it on, Hart drove it on towards the last 10 minutes, and uh, fair play to Clumber, but uh, we, we, we were the hungrier, and we, we weren't coming our way without it, like. Um, I know it's just funny as Faz said, you know, I see him, I said any time Faz comes on, either we're in dire straits or winning by 20 points, so <laughs> I said I, I couldn't, but even after the match there, no, I, I was talking to a few of the, the ex-legends who I've asked to come back, the likes of Tom Linehan, Tom Newell, John O'Hagan's even come back, and I don't know if JC's going to yeah. tug out, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, it'll be well strapped, so like I said the lads, you know, if you get five minutes of senior football, sure, that's all you can, if you're tired, happy, like, so uh, it's great for them lads, great to see all them guys out there today as well, um, supporting us, and it was a big drive, even, even the, the hurling club were behind us, it was fantastic, like, um, but uh, it's fantastic, there's a knee injury, no, that's, that's the famous knee, it's it's bigger gone. than gone. <laughs> gone, Pat Fox, Pat Spillane, Colm O'Rourke, it's gone, <laughs> gone, it's all over, next year maybe Mickey, yeah, gone. all gone, all gone, will there be a book about it? Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 but, uh, just on that point as well, Mickey, um, we had all these second rumours about his ligament, this ligament, this ligament, that, but uh, he played a stormer today, like, and uh, there's uh, an amputation going on Wednesday, I think, on the matter. But, uh, <laughs> so, so, just again, I'd like to thank everybody involved in the club, um, for the record, like, all the way down, and the lads, not only today and for the, for the last, this year, this season, Roddy, <coughs> um, Brendan O'Hagan, Jerry, Sean Dunleavy, all the lads, Richard, Porrick O'Connell, anyone that's been involved, Sean Flanagan, but we have to remember all the lads that went before, but it was hard work getting out teams, and this is, this is what we always wanted to go for, like, you know, and uh, it's finally came, and uh, it was brilliant to do it, as I said, and, uh, you know, what more can you say, it's just brilliant. Even for the young lads, um, sorry, Joe, you know, the amount of young lads that were there today and support, and the, uh, the juvenile club we have in Clare Galway, like Jimmy Gavin and, all, and Pat Cohn and all the lads there, and Mick O'Connell, the amount of work underage, and... It's fantastic there to see them there and rowing your name on today and after the match and just the future is fantastic for Clare Galway like on a serious note and uh, it's great like I mean to be honest with you we have a fantastic club and it's booming parish and uh, I mean to have two senior teams next year like it'll be fantastic like so uh, it's great it's great Joe you know and again I just on, on pause for the record right. that for the Levy chairman of the football club well Joe I think it's a very proud moment for us in Clare Galway. Uh, as a lot of people have been saying, we're kind of around 40 years on the, on the march. Uh, I think it all started down in Waterdale, I've been told many times before, uh, from Martinelli and a couple of more of the locals down there. And we have come a long way, and today is the culmination of that now. Uh, we've achieved st a senior status, we've gone up with the cup, and um, really it's just a testament to the amount of hard work that have been put in by a huge amount of people over the years. I, I mean, today the limelight is for, you know, the players, and deservedly so, and the, the guys that looked after them throughout the year, Roddy and Brendan and Joe Riley and Jerry Higgins and those lads, you know, and uh, they are basking in the glory. But at, the, at this moment in time, we should also remember, you know, the Mick Higginses and the various other people, the Val Hanleys who have been in and out, the, you know, Jerry Cullinan, you know, I, I could keep going on and on and on, Matty Boyle, you know, there, there's loads of people out there that have put in hours and days and years and weeks of, of hard work. And this is really the cherry on the top of the cake. And I'm really delighted uh, on a personal basis, but also for the people of the parish and, and, and the surrounding parishes as it now is, because we, we get an awful lot of support from people in Turlock Moor and Castle Gar as well. And that's a good thing. I think that's, you know, it's very good for football in the area. And I think... Uh, it's very exciting times ahead now. Uh, we're going to have a crack at the Currafins and the, you know, the Milltowns and the Anadowns, and, and, and that's, the prospect is, is great. Uh, what we have to do now is put in a huge amount of work again over the next couple of m months to get our team prepared for senior football. Uh, let it, no one be uh, under any illusions. It's going to be hell up there. And to, to maintain our senior status, I think, has to be the number one priority and we're going to have to do a huge amount of work for that. That's it. It's not going to stop here now, Sean, no? No. It's a, <laughs> we're on a roll now, Joseph, and I think uh, it's going to be very difficult to stop us at this stage. Are you going to relax tonight, Sean? I think I will. I'll enjoy a few uh, bevies. All right, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks very much, Sean. Thank you. The dressing room, but you're a happy man now.
Absolutely, Joe. Absolutely. Uh, I've never been. I haven't been in many winning dressing rooms, you know. And uh, don't know how to react yet, but uh, they tell me we're going up senior, and uh, I don't know what it's going to feel like. It'll probably into the unknown, you know. But uh, to win a couple is nice because we walked out of many dressing rooms losing them, you know, in every grade here in hurling and football in the parish. So it's probably a good feeling, yeah. Yeah. They came well after yesterday's the defeat in the hurling. So well, it probably was the best thing ever that happened was in the end, you know, for the likes of Declan and me all, John Paul and all them. Um, you know, to get into it straight away, bounce back straight away, put the other game behind them because they were gutted, like, you know, but uh, they play, all played well and they all played their part and they were up for it, you know, and they had this dream to start the year to play senior and now they've achieved that dream and what happens after this, I don't know for them, you know. Well, there's a great um, up-and-coming young players as well, so there's uh, we could have a long, bright, happy future. Well, then, we have, we have, good, we have a good panel there. We had 30 lads talk today and every one of them were... You know, in contention for a certain places. You know, Brahan Joe Garrett there t today is only a minor. You know, um, John Paul is only a young fella. A lot of young lads there. Tommy Moore just out of minor as well. All them lads and they've played se intermediate grade and well capable of playing uh, senior. You know, and this all this that grade of football will do them good. You know, so I don't know. Next year is a long way away. Next yet, year is a long uh, way. Did you get a two-year contract when you took it on, Roddy? Yeah, and it's up tonight. Joe. It's up tonight. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, just one last thing, Roddy, you know, before we let you go celebrating. Uh, Paul Kincanny, he was wondering why didn't he get that that one minute? Yeah, that one minute, but that one minute was a long minute for a while there, and with the, with the frustration and everything. But I hope that doesn't uh, mean that he's going to stay on until he gets the game. Because oh, yeah, I think he's. I, 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 I've said this in '98 or was it '95, but it's a long time ago. But uh, on behalf of the players and the club and the people of the parish, maybe he should hang up his boots now at this stage, you know. <laughs> uh, and then again, maybe maybe he'll wait until ten minutes into the first league game. The first league game. <laughs> he wants to play senior, you know that. Does, yeah. Yeah, uh, You're talking out yourself next year, Dorothy. Uh, yeah. yeah. We're putting in a special junior C team. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll round it up here now from Pierce Stadium for Clare Galway defeating Clumber to win the Intermediate County Football Final. Thanks very much. No, 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 just the local.